Hello, and welcome to the third video in our three-part series on using Garrison to deploy a fast and secure code signing system. In the previous video, we showed Garrison's manual and automated hash validation features. In particular, we showed how Garrison can ensure that the hash to sign matches what is in the source code repository. This video will showcase Garrison's ability to run security tests, such as static and dynamic code analysis, as part of the automated hash validation process. We will also show how these tests can be completed in parallel with other processes to speed up the CI-CD environment. Let's get started. As part of the automated hash validation process, Garrison retrieves the source code from the repository and creates a duplicate copy of the binaries to sign. With the source and binaries now in its possession, Garrison can execute tests on the code in either pre-sign or post-sign validation mode. Here we have some code that is vulnerable to a SQL injection. When we commit this to the repository, the automated hash validation does not detect an issue because the code to sign matches what is in the repository. However, when we change the key's policy to run static analysis as part of automated hash validation and then rerun the build, the result is different. This time, the build failed, and we received a notification telling us that there was an issue during validation. In the log file, we can see the exact issue that occurred. Since we performed validation in pre-sign mode, the overall build time increased. If we want to avoid limiting performance in any way, we can instead run the validation in post-sign mode. Now, when we rerun the build, it completes successfully and the overall build time is back to its original duration. Since the hash validation now occurs after signing, Garrison sends a notification of the issue once it is detected. It also informs us that the signature was already generated. We can expand on this to further improve performance. A typical build looks something like this. But since Garrison can perform some of these tasks, such as static analysis, they can be offloaded from the build server to Garrison and completed in parallel with the build server's remaining tasks. The result is an overall reduction in the build's wall clock time. To do this, we simply disable the steps on our build server that Garrison is now responsible for. Now, when we rerun the build, the build completes faster than before while all the steps are still processed. We hope you enjoyed this demo of Garrison's advanced code signing features. Check out our other videos to see how Garrison can be used for other use cases, such as SSH, document signing, TLS, and more. Thanks for watching.